everybody, this is Yuri. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can grab the individual post ID from a dynamic creative ad set or a DCA. Now, some of you have mentioned that the old methodology that I've posted in the previous video, which is linked below, uh, doesn't quite work all the time. Uh, seeing as that I don't really use DCA a whole lot, uh, I'm just kind of running this as a demo for you, just so we can show you how you can grab that ID. Um, but I'm not, again, I'm not really running DCAs a whole lot because of this limitation and it's kind of annoying to test. Nonetheless, if you find through the breakdown that one of the ads is particularly performing very well and you'd like to run it as a manual ad uh, through a different methodology, rather you would rather create an individual ad and then enter the post ID manually, I'm going to show you how you can grab that ID from a different area inside of Facebook. Now, inside of uh, Facebook ads, there's something called the post the post pages. So we're going to click on this hamburger menu here and we're going to find page posts. I might have to move this and of course here it is page posts. So it's here on the left and let's find page posts or right here under engage customers page posts. Okay so it's right there. I had to move the little camera thingy there. Page post is there. You're going to click on it and I have it open right here. Okay, and then we're gonna, you're gonna, it's gonna default to publish post. Now this is, this kind of thing is a little bit antiquated. I don't think, I don't, don't really think they've updated this like ever, but anyway, it works for what we need. Uh, so we're gonna have to find, and sometimes like these don't actually sort, so you're gonna have to kind of dig for your information. You could search um, maybe by the t you know title of you could type type some stuff in and find some of the the headlines uh, whatever it is that you're searching for for that dynamic post. Um, now being a DCA, everything does get published, so it does get published as individual ads. Basically, Facebook throws into a blender, creates all the variants, and then it publishes them inside of the ad posts. So you're going to default to publish post. We're going to click on ad post. I already clicked here. And here it is, the one, the DCA that I published a while ago at the top here with the IDs listed. Now, uh, this is date February 17, 2023. Great. Now, in order for us to actually figure out and confirm that this is the right ID, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this ID here. All right. And what we're going to do is find any, any ad that you've run that has any sort of traffic that has generated posts that's static. We're going to click on fa view Facebook post with comments. Okay, so I'm going to show. So we're going to click on the checkbox, preview, share, Facebook post with comments. Click on that. It's going to take you to this page. Uh, I'm going to pause this. Uh, and when I did have a wonderful mustache, I'm going to pause that video. And what we're going to do is we're going to sh look at this URL structure. Now this is a hash uh, ID. Now, the old, method, the old sort of schema that Facebook used to have is just to plug in the ID here instead of this hash weird thing. Now, since I have all my IDs for the dynamic page posts, I'm going to just, let's say this is the one I'm after. Um, and sometimes it'll show you like the data associated with it. Uh, sometimes it won't. Like I said, this is a little janky. It hasn't been updated since the dawn of uh, Facebook ads. But nonetheless, let's just grab one of these IDs and we're going to confirm that this is exactly what we're looking for. And we're going to uh, replace this whole hash thing inside of the uh, business.facebook.com slash your page name slash posts slash uh, your ID here. Okay, now we're going to enter that and it's going to bring up the actual ID. Now you see this is from five days ago, February 17, 2023. This was generated off of a DCA. And these are the individual IDs off that DCA. Now going back to the ads manager, let's confirm that that indeed, indeed was the DCA. Okay, the DCA is located in this and here it is. I didn't label it correctly because again, this is just for the sake of example. And I think I have a whole bunch of ad creatives in here. Um, I just threw it in. Let's just see what it generates once it populates media. So here's all our media. We've got five different videos here and we have, uh, so these are the five videos with one primary text, one headline, one URL. Okay, so we should have five videos from the February 17th. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why it's generated more. Uh, maybe, maybe I published it twice or something. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it's probably I published it twice or something else is going on. Nonetheless, it will, 
regardless, it will pu publish all your IDs. And when we look at our breakdowns and we want to, I want to grab from, from the breakdown that particular one that's performing well. And I know the video that it's performing, uh, that it's, that's performing uh, or the video ID. I could probably search for the video ID in here, but the easiest thing is just to search for the actual um, post ID. Now remember, these are not ads, these are posts. So, well, they're ads and posts or what, whatever it is. And because, uh, because I can grab this ID here, I can go back to that preview and then plug in any one of these IDs and it will pull it up here. And again, this is, this is, this is the same post at, that lives here when I publish a DCA. So it's the same exact one that it's one of these, right? One of these variants that Facebook auto generated. I can grab it and plug it in. So it's super easy to do that. Um, and we've confirmed that that's the one. Now, if we want to make an ad for that, let's grab, uh, let's just click, let's just pick a, any ad that is not a DCA. And I'm going to select enter manually. All right, we're going to enter a manual. We're going to delete this. And again, if you're creating a new ad, you're going to do it. Uh, you're going to do it without any media in here. You're going to see it uh, show up here. We're actually going to say instead of ad setup, we're going to click on use existing post. OK, I rem remember I have that same ID already uh, entered. So we're going to click or copied enter post ID here. Click paste submit. It'll pull up that post ID. The ad ID is different, but the post ID is right here. Remember, these are posts. Um, and then it's going to pull up this one that I pulled up here and I have confirmed it here. Oh, they're the same ones. So it just duplicated the same ID, right? So these are the same same IDs uh, duplicated here. And now we can see it is also here. And now I've been able to use this. Uh, I've been able to use this post ID in the ad as a new ad running as a static ad from a dynamic creative ad set. So now I have everything there and I'm able to pull the exact ID of the post that I want to run as a static ad. And therefore I had run my dynamic ad, uh, creative ad set test and determined what's performing based on Facebook's blender approach. Now, just a cautionary note for DCAs, uh, Facebook notes that it is not a method for split testing. It's sort of a hacky way to just throw a bunch of variants into a blender and seeing what comes out of it based on the algorithm and what Facebook has determined has the best engagement or whatever metrics it's basing it off of. Perhaps it's your conversion rate or perhaps it's your optimization event uh, or perhaps it's even I have seen it with CTR all highest CTR all wins. Right. So it's sort of random and it is not a good split testing tool. It's a quick and dirty way to get a bunch of ads, uh, ads up all at once and kind of create the variants for you. But it's kind of a pain in the butt to actually run it. So I like to build static ads versus dynamic creative ad sets. Um, they're just it's just my personal preference because I'm old school and I like to run tests the old fashioned way. But that doesn't mean you have to. So I hope this video helps you. This is a new 2023 method of finding that post ID, that static post ID from a dynamic creative ad set. Thank you so much for watching. And please remember, support me, subscribe to the channel below. Uh, definitely like, share, and uh, follow, uh, follow this video or follow the channel, whatever it is. And also do check out my site. It's funnelinsiders.com. Tons and tons and tons of resources on there. I worked really hard to provide you sort of the up to date, best quality content for anything related to Facebook advertising or direct response marketing. Um, I do this stuff. These are things that I'm actually testing and proving out with data, with money, with real, real, real world results. And I'm, yes, I'm still spending over five figures a day in advertising. Uh, just to determine, you know, what's working and what's not working. So please do check that out. And if you have additional questions, please comment below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.